Uh, hey, what's up? <laughs> Very enthusiastic. Hello. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's me, Vivian, from the Paper Letter Blog. You may also know me as the Chatty Pen Pal Channel. And today I'm coming to you with a outgoing mail video. So in today's video, I will share with you a ton of outgoing mails. I will tell you who I've sent them to and where and when and everything. You'll get all of the information. It's a slow video, so I hope you enjoy that. And a friendly reminder, as you could see here on the screen, if you do not follow me already, either on YouTube or on Instagram, definitely do so. <laughs> so, well, like I said, I will be showing you a bunch of meals like this one that I sent to my pen pal, Lisa. Uh, this is basically, of course, a little journal and I've just put some extra goodies on <laughs> each of the pages. Um, but I do want to say that I don't show all of my outgoing meals on cameras. I simply pick the ones that I think are different or are fun or um, sometimes I don't film one that I think is fun because it's too dark. So, you know, this is just a handful of meals that I've sent out in 2020. This one I sent out in the summer. So that's quite a long time ago, <laughs> but I'm a little bit behind on sharing these. Then here are some envelopes that I used to send out those mails. I made four matching envelopes. I loved doing this. I folded them myself with paper from Flow Magazine, not sponsored. I always repurpose those pages. And then I decorated them with stamps and again, cutouts from the magazine. Um, this one, this envelope you're seeing now went to the same pen pal Lisa. I put the uh, notebook in there. The first envelope that I showed, it went to my mom actually. I wrote her a note and then this one is a swap that I sent to Tessa. We swapped some teas and I decorated. Uh, I wrote, actually I wrote the information of the teas on little tea cup die cuts. I thought that was kind of cute. And then it's loose leaf tea because that is my favorite by the way if you want to learn how to make your own envelopes i have a video on that i personally love making my own envelopes especially from things like magazine paper because it's either going in the paper bin <laughs> or you can reuse it to make envelopes um yeah <laughs> so i will link it down below and then we were going to swap, like I said, tea, loose leaf tea, but I included a couple die cuts simply because um, when you go over the one stamp limit, you have 50 grams. So if I, basically that was a weird way to say for two stamps, you can add 50 grams of mail. So usually when I'm at 25 grams, I'll add in more stuff to come closer to 50 grams because, you know, you pay for it anyway. So you might as well make use of that. This is another swap from my Dutch swapper group. Uh, this one went to Jose. Um, we, I used to, I used to join a lot of those teamwork postcard swaps. So we would all uh, work on one one layer of the postcard. I say used to because I stopped doing that. I do still enjoy the concept and the idea, but. I had a few kind of negative people in the group or not necessarily negative, but I just, I started feeling too stressed about it. So I decided to leave it for now and just focus on other things. So I don't usually do swaps. The only swaps I do now are with my patrons. <laughs> um, this mail went to my pen pal, Roxanne. I have to say, looking at all of this makes me very excited to do four matching envelopes again. Looks really, really fun. And then as you can see, the inside of the envelope is just magazine paper. So it usually has one printed side and then the other side has a one color. <laughs> so the outside has that one color that I can decorate on top of and then the inside of the envelope is just magazine. Then the next one I sent out in July 2020. I made a list this time because the last time I did one of those videos, I was like frantically scrolling through my um, photo diary app to find all of the entries. Um, this one went to Lia in Germany. I'm hoping it arrived in one piece. Uh, by the way, I get questions about this all the time. Again, not sponsored, but I use a photo diary app to keep track of what mail I've sent out and when. I use one that's called Diaro, but I'm sure there's many apps that you can use. 
You may recognize this meal because we started it in a live stream. Remember in the first lockdown, I did a ton of live streams, like one every week. This is a project that we started back then. <laughs> I haven't done, I don't do live streams that often anymore. I did one for my birthday and then I do do live streams for my patrons, but I don't know, for some reason I haven't felt like doing live streams again, but maybe, who knows. <laughs> then this next uh, plastic bag <laughs> went to Margo, no Mario, I think it's pronoun mar pronounced Mario, from Finland. Again in I think July or August 2020 and what I did is I Have a thing kind of against plastic. Of course, I have a lot of plastic in my daily life. There's no Getting around that but I do like to try and recycle plastic bags So what I did is I had that one big plastic I don't know, probably like sticker. It was probably wrapped around a sticker sheet or something. And what I did is I put a gift bag in the plastic bag and then a postcard that I watercolored myself. And then I used the plastic sleeve thingy as an envelope. <laughs> so I've done this before and it usually works out well. I, ha I had, when I sent this out, I did um, sort of reinforce the corners so that I knew that the plastic bag would survive the trip. You know, if I <laughs> if I could, I would try and avoid plastic altogether, but if I can't, I'm just gonna reuse it. So these are a bunch of the goodies that I included in there. It's quite a big meal. Uh, it has a lot of goodies and then some handmade tags and envelopes and um, all sorts of, in my opinion, fun things like washi tape stickers. <laughs> and then of course, like I said, the hand and colored in postcard. This next one is one I very much love. It went to Anna Marijn. Again, a PO book supply. Nearly all of these are PO book supplies. It went to Anna Marijn in the Netherlands. Um, first, it got sent back to me because apparently she had moved. <laughs> so if you or if you have sent me mail in 2020 or the past, um, yeah, I wouldn't say a couple of months because my PO box is closed. But if you have sent me mail in 2020 and you moved, please always email me. Uh, this time it got sent back to me, but who knows what might happen if someone actually opens the mail um, that the mail is not intended for. Luckily, it uh, I could send it to her again at the right address. Oh, and the one from Anna Marijn also is a video tutorial up on YouTube. So I will link that down below. This, if I'm not mistaken, is also for a YouTube tutorial. This is a little pocket letter that I made for Michelle in the USA. This is obviously fall themed and I sent it out in December last year. Um, like I said, pretty sure I did a video for this little pocket letter. I quite like this. Like always when I'm doing these videos, I'm like, shoot, I should make mini pocket letters more often because they're really, really fun. Then another swap. <laughs> uh, it's not like I send out that many swaps. I would say the postcard swaps was once a month, if I'm not mistaken. But of course, now that you are seeing all of them in one video, it looks like a lot. Um, that was another one of those postcard, uh, teamwork postcards. And that one went to someone called Iris. This next one, I forgot. I did not actually write this down. Oh, of course, Caitlin in Australia. So this is another PR Books reply. Um, I sent this out in July 2020. And these are the goodies that I sent her, including a sort of handmade banner. I think I made that in a Patreon stream or in a Patreon video, I think. I don't remember. And then these puffy stickers, which I absolutely love. Uh, this one is a pen pal letter from my pen pal Jenny. I mix and matched the stamps and they're so pretty. Oh yeah, I wanted to say, mind you, these are all, uh, let me see, the one from Jer the one for Jenny is in August. So all of these mails I sent out in the months after I returned to work. 
I was kind of afraid and I mean after I returned to work because we had a lockdown and I couldn't work for two and a half months so I was kind of afraid that when I would return to work after being home for like nearly three months I would not be able to make a lot of happy meal because I would be super tired and working a lot and then somehow I ended up making not necessarily more meals than during lockdown but many more than I expected so I'm kind of looking forward to that hopefully because in therapy we also discussed that now I don't I feel like I should be doing more I should be doing more videos more housework more outgoing mail blah 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 but because I am in lockdown again and I have been for months I just I don't have motivation for basically anything and she said that that's totally normal so she said that probably when you go back to work you will also find your motivation for all other things that you find difficult right now so I'm hoping that first of all fingers crossed I can go back to work in April gosh I'm almost tearing up like talking about work it's so sad but fingers crossed that I can go back to work <clears throat> that hit me oh, fingers crossed that I can go back to work in April and then fingers crossed I will have one uh, of those how would you call this like inspiration creative attacks almost again <laughs> because I really I I'm looking at the list I wrote for all of these uh, meals in this video and I a lot of them are July and August so that's like a month after I went back to work this one obviously went to Emma, my friend Emma, in England, also in August. Um, I decoupaged. Is that a, a verb? I don't even know. I decoupaged. I did decoupage. How do you say that? I don't even know. I decoupaged the napkin. So I, or it's not a napkin, but it's tissue paper. So basically, what I did is I glued tissue paper onto the envelope, and then it's colorful, fun, and orange. I'm not normally a fan of orange, but I love that tissue paper so much I knew I had to reuse it for something. And then I also sent Emma a bunch of the teacup dyes, die cuts, because I uh, she actually asked me where I got them. So I figured, you know, <laughs> she meant like a few. And then a little uh, cupcake pin and one of my favorite teas. Also nice, bright orange. <laughs> and then you may also recognize this from a video because I made a I made a tutorial for this uh, craft stash. I forgot what, we, what it was called. Craft stash has a paper crafting box. And I got the try one, and then that's the project that we made. And then this washi tape I didn't include as a sample. I Or did I include it as a sample? I'm pretty sure that I used it to close the envelope with. I love how, how colorful that floral one is. Then I love it when I write down the name of the receiver before making this video so then I don't have to search through my app. <laughs> this one went to Valentina, although I did remember because it's so I don't make I don't often make all pink meal, but I made all pink meal because over on Patreon uh, we did a challenge for one color meal or projects. So you had to pick a color and make everything in that color. I say color too often, but yeah, obviously for this meal, I chose pink and I didn't intentionally go for an all pink meal, but I made that pocket with two pink pages and I just decided to embrace it, find all of my pink supplies and go nuts. <laughs> so I included a little shaker, some paper scraps because why not, some doilies, a tag, some uh, die cuts, lots of die cuts actually and some sticky notes and I made this shaker that was actually a test shaker <laughs> because uh, my friend Beck sent me I always forget what it's called but some sort of puffy foam that you can die cut and turn into shakers it's like 3d foam I don't know <laughs> so I had to test that out and I decided Hello Sage I decided to make a tiny shaker yes I'm in my bathrobe I don't know why <laughs> crafting any any time I can. Uh, this is a pocket tag or tag pocket or basically a pocket on a tag. I sent this out to do, 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 Isabel in Germany again in August, so many, and I included a ton of goodies. I wanted to make a flat little goodie uh, pouch simply because I can. 
And also because I made that envelope specifically for this meal because it was summer and I liked the ice cream theme, there's a more ice cream envelopes coming up because I sent all of them out at the same time. And then I, um, because it's kind of thinner paper, I knew that I couldn't make the meal too bulky. So that was a good excuse to try some tiny goodies. This one is easy. It went to Martina in the USA, also back in August again. Uh, this meal you may also recognize because I've done a video on that. Have I uploaded that already? I don't even remember. It's an envelope flip book, but differently. And I like it a lot. It's kind of vintage meets new. I'm not gonna show you too much of it because like I said, it's a video, but I like it a lot. And then here's a better view because the light was kind of terrible. Seriously questioning if I made a video tutorial about this now. If I did, you will find it down below. Uh, down below, you will also find all of the links to my uh, Pinterest even, and then of course, Instagram and Patreon. So definitely check that out if you like. <laughs> um, this one again for my pen pal Lisa. So the same one we saw at the beginning of this video, but it's a smaller meal. It's just one of those La Papier uh, envelope envelope letter paper sets and then I included some washi tape stickers because most of my meals are small that's just the way I like it and here is the other ice cream envelope this one was for Amber from the Netherlands that's a page and writing paper from a flow magazine extra we got one time I liked it a lot very summery <laughs> and again sent out in August and then I just uh, made another, I had a thing for, how do you call them? Stuffed pockets, stuffed tags, I don't know, I forgot. Um, for pocket tags, clearly. I think I made a bunch of them in one go, I still have a few. <laughs> and then, yep, just die cuts and stickers, washi tape stickers, all random bits and bobs. Basically a magpie tag pocket. <laughs> So that's good. That is good. Okay, next up. Yes, there we go, next up. We have a sushi envelope. This is also a lap up here, um, a lap up here stationary set. I used to do collabs with lap up here where they would send me their letter writing paper subscription. If you've been missing those, that's actually because they canceled their subscription. <laughs> So um, they still do have their shop, but they don't have the subscription anymore. But I obviously still have a ton of envelopes and letter writing paper. Oh, another pocket tag, what a surprise. <laughs> really had a thing for them. This is a die I have actually, creates that cute little pocket in one go. And then again, random little goodies, washi tape sample, some craft tags and stickers. Can't go wrong with that. This one is a little bit sped up because it's again one you have seen before. I remember when in, I don't remember when actually, uh, a while ago I did a giveaway or three giveaways in one, one for Instagram, one for YouTube and one for Patreon. And then I also did a video tutorial for these. And this is uh, them all ready to go because I'm pretty sure that I made the meals on camera and then I decorated the envelopes off camera. I think. I don't even remember. But this is them all ready to go out. So one for Patreon, one for Instagram, one for YouTube. I will once again link that down below if you would like to check it out. Yep. Cute little goodies. I also have a set of the goodies for myself. I have used them a couple of times, but I'm a bit of a hoarder because it's houseplants and not gonna lie, houseplants is one of my favorite themes. <laughs> so I've been hanging on to them a little bit as well. And in case you're wondering, yes, one of them is slightly bigger than the other two because the Patreon one had double the stickers because it's Patreon <laughs> and my patrons uh, get giveaways more often. And then I thought it would be fun to give them some extra goodies as well. This is again, there's a theme going on. And again, one of those flow uh, extras, extra. Sometimes I add extras to the magazine, like a notebook or something that I find no use for. But then uh, a couple of times I did a pattern book and I absolutely love them. 
So this was again two pages from the pattern book, a writing page and an envelope page. And then I also included this Project Life card flip book, which I am so in love with. First of all, because I love the pastel colors of those um, of those Project Life cards. And also because it's such a fun way to send a tiny little mail for a, a, a friend. And this one went to Simay in the USA. And I sent it out in October. Oh, I think I forgot to tell you, but the sushi mail just before went out to Alice Jane in South Africa in September. I don't know if I told you that or not. So that's it. I had a lot of fun going through these again, and I hope, of course, you did too. If you did, you know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up, follow me on all my socials, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.